<laughs> time of the evening. So we're just gonna jump right into it and start off on the international scene. You ready? Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm always ready. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Alrighty, so Terence Howard files a lawsuit against 20th Century Fox. Now, the Empire star Terence Howard has filed a lawsuit against his former employer, 20th Century Fox, claiming they used as a likeness from his 2005 film Hustle and Flow for the Empire logo. Now, the lawsuit alleges that Howard asked the studio how they came up with the logo using his likeness since he never sat down for a photo shoot and was given the runaround. Hmm. So, um, basically, the lawsuit alleges that the still frame was selected, reversed, you know, so I guess it was looking at left, no, it changed to right or whatever. And then and changed it up. Yes, yeah, so, and it was subjected to CGI, so that means that, you know, the, the works of the original cinematographer was like, they messed with that, so that's what he was saying. Yeah, they you changed know? up things a little bit. Right, so Howard alleges that if Fox had gotten a proper license for the image from Paramount Pictures, mm. that he would have been paid. So, you know, that's what I'm waiting for, because here we are. Look how long Empire the boat and Empire don't know this year. So what make him know just at all about this and this film was from 2005? Why now? Maybe you have the time now because of Corona, so you have the time now if we can dig in at things so a little is. bit, yeah? So from Empire come out, remember when I said that it was his face that was being put on the logo all along? The man too busy and make money. Me feel like Terence, like him very tormented and him doesn't have nothing for the right now because the logo did a long time. So if you just want money, you should just call people and say, hello, use my face, so give me money. And now he's saying that uh, all the merch, Empire merch, that has been sold over the years, mm -hmm. he want the money after that too, because he face the fund merch. Oh. Like, we're watching it. We're watching it, Raven. Let's watch it. So not the man money, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're still on the international scene, and this topic is a little bit touchy. <sighs> During her appearance on Jada Pinkett Smith's Red Table Talk, we're talking about Amber Rose. She revealed that she has already discussed topics of consent, women's health, and sex with her seven-year-old son, Sebastian. Now, Amber Rose says she knows everything. He knows everything. I'm not hiding nothing from my son. My son knows what a period is. Rose says he even comes and sits in the bathroom with her to talk and will ask, Mommy, do you have your period? <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> Liquid. No, this is serious. <laughs> Apart from the credit where I give you over this, so. <laughs> <laughs> people, yeah, there's this one that may wait for liquid opinion for this and over there, so I give you credit. People who have sense, no, you know what I mean? Like, what do you want me to say? Because I listen to the news on that. No. See, so you can imagine you have your son, and, and at seven, your son, mother, is telling that child about period and all of them stuff there. Well, you know what I mean? You can tell him. You don't know if him asks. I you know them watch TV and cartoon or whatever, but in the bathroom and then... The son is asking, Mommy, do you have your period now? I don't know, I don't know. I don't do, you need know. A no. do you need a tampon? Ah! She what you, said... What, what you will hear this thing? Because you are female. And you honestly... Know, you could be mothers. And I do don't have a problem with him asking. Because honestly, I feel like she's raising a gentleman and... Nowadays, kids, you can't hide anything at from seven, them. At seven. Yeah, seven, him big enough, him old enough, he's him, 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 him own tablet. He might watch YouTube, he might watch all these things. So, might as well tell him at home so when him go to school, nobody else can tell him foolishness. I, you know, remember back in the, like primary school or high school when you had a period and the boys would be like, ew. My old school, me gone all the way back in the days. Oh, I'm old and tell him, say, yo, we, we talk about it when I'm older. Well. To each his own, you know. Yeah, that, that can be done. But the fact that she said him coming to the bathroom, so maybe him sitting Let me finish the story, though. She said she makes sure to answer her son honestly. I'm like, no, not right now, but I will. So what if she, what if she not uh, she not have her period because she ensure that yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm like no, not right now. And he's like, do you need a tampon? Do you need a pad? This is yeah. the seven year old son asking <laughs> mommy this, you know. Yeah, ain't that too much? It, exactly. I think it's just too much. Ain't that too much, man. Like for real, as we say, you know what I mean? That's in, too much. Exactly. In addition to all of that, Amber Rose says she even covers the importance of consent with her baby boy. Said She said she used an example of him jokingly grabbing her buttocks in order to open up a conversation about the necessity of consent in all situations. Mm. Me don't know about that one there. It's mm. not necessary, but I feel like age. 
This is me and was telling you, know, you make a girl for you because you say, hey, this is this is this is what consent means. Well, yeah, this, yeah. 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 Zip talkers, let us know what you think about yeah, all of this. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you think about? That she not. I must have some white people something. This, this is not. This is not <laughs> black. This is some white people thing because me cannot picture my son. Seven year old son I grab me and me said no, this is not the right way. Are you not supposed to do this? Are nobody not supposed to do but this? But the thing is, how she segue from him grabbing her buttocks to say um to going into. Oh, you must always ask for consent where sex is content. Like, you know, I'm not supposed to segue, oh, made that segue from. So young, child. Yes! Just, just Imagine my little seven year old son. Fire! Fire! Fire, fire! That cannot happen. I'm not ready. Let me move on because Please. I get nervous talking about this. Yeah, move on. Oh, move on. on. <laughs> Spread it, man. All right, so we're going local and um, yeah, yeah, local yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, we'll come home, we'll come mm. home. So, guys, I'm the local scene today. So, Vibes Cartel and Spraga Bands collab, possibly, maybe. Are we ready for it? So, Vibes Cartel and Spraga Bands have decided to, you know, bury their decade long feud to collaborate on a brand new remix. Now, the latest remix is yet to be released, though. So, aside from Vibes Cartel and his son, a little vibes. Um, expected on a feature is DeMarco and Spraga Benz. Now, the move has been rightfully branded with the variations of unity in dance hall by all the parties involved. Now, Vibes Cartel captioned a recent post of a music video being shot in an unused jail cell um, titled Dance Hall Unity Family Settings. And he tagged his son, Lika Vibes, and of course, DeMarco, and he titled it Uncle Spraga Benz. Now, he writes another Uncle. caption on Instagram <laughs> showcasing Spraga sitting on a bonnet of a car saying who vex dance all of me everything now of course the two have been at odds since 2005 when Spraga Ben stepped in to defend agent Sasko obviously assassin who had a lyrical squabble with vibes cartel and of course that beef saw the release of tracks currently listed as classics such as Spraga Ben's we done see it and of course followed by vibes cartel <clears throat> Correction, we can't call her name if I hear I like my job. I mean, Spraga correction. <laughs> so, so, so Stop it. You don't know my name. Come on, let's yeah. just do this. So, and, yeah. and and speaking of Vibes Cartel, yes, yes. certified gold. Fever! Don't let me see up. Don't let me see Yo, he might when go you, on for Instagram yo. now. What do you mean? He's going to go on and work hard. When the song they come out, do Alright, we can move on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Liquid, every time I come in here, you know. Ah, you know, see, you love the two in here. You love it. You can't manage the two in here. That's it. Yeah. Yes. Jesus. Yes. But um before we go though, thoughts guys on um the look of you that's going on on Twitter oh. with um hey. Abby Hill and um hey. Liquid just want me, you know. It just want me before yeah. and say hey, don't mix me you know. Zitaka, tell us what you, what you think what about you know. Abby Hill and um champion, you know, Buju um situation. I mean, you have your problem, don't bring it up on Twitter. I feel like she become with other people them family business because if Abby Hill talk about her father, why she jump in in other people them something. Um, you, you don't know how close they are. You, you know, say know. Abby just mm. But Raven, you don't know how close those like you don't know how close they be. Don't want me to talk the things them you, you, you know, them business. Not today, not today. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to talk the things, alright? Hey.